Welcome to Computer Class for Kindergarten. This year, we will be learning an exciting new language called code. We will be using something called code.org. Let me show you how to get started. First, you will open up your favorite browser. In the address bar, you will type in code.org. C O D E dot O R G. Then you will click enter. I am so excited for you to learn to code with me. To get started, go to your favorite browser. You will type in code.org. When you are here in the very top corner, there is a sign in. Click sign in. Then you will enter a six letter section code. For kindergarten, your code is F R D H M N. This code will also be out on your page to find for later. Let's click go because we are ready to go. Oh my goodness, can you find your name? The names are listed alphabetical by first name. If you have the same name as someone else, you might have a last initial. There's me. Let me find my secret picture. Your teacher will give you a secret picture. My secret picture is a dog. I will sign in. Now I will see many, many lessons. You do not need to do them all today. These will be lessons you will do throughout the next couple of weeks. Your teacher will assign them to you when the day comes for computer. If you see unplugged activity, you do not need to do this. This is something that we would do if we were in the classroom together, but since we are not, we will skip them. We will then look at the first thing. This says lesson name. Learn to drag and drop. Next to it, you will see your progress. There are many bubbles. I see 12 bubbles. That means there are 12 puzzles for you to solve. If you scroll clear to the bottom, you will see what these bubbles mean. So if it is a diamond, it is a concept. This might be something to read, a video, or a map to help you. When you are working on it, it will be highlighted in green. If you complete it, it will be colored in solid green. Look at the circles. They have a different code. These are activities. They might be extra lessons, assessments, questions, or activities to complete. While you are working, they are highlighted green. If you complete them but use too many blocks, they are light green. Completed are green and purple will be graded. Let's go play. To begin my lesson, I will see that the instructions are at the top. When I click on the instructions, I can change them into a different language so that it's easier for me to understand. When I click on the little book, I can choose any of the languages here. Yo hablo español. Mm. Mm. <gasps> Spanish! Now, when I click play, it should read it in my language. Hmm. I can also change the line focus, use the picture dictionary, and many other things like making the text bigger or smaller or a different font or color. These are all things that will encourage reading for our younger learners. When you are done here, oh, in Spanish, it will read it out loud. When you are done, click the back arrow 
and click on practice. It says, click the block. Congratulations, you completed puzzle one. Click continue. When I click the button, it will play the directions for me. Drag the block to the target. All right, congratulations, you completed puzzle two. This one, arrange the blocks to form the arrange image. The blocks to form the image. Hmm. What is this a picture of? No. No. Good job! You made a snail and completed puzzle three. Arrange the blocks to Arrange form the an image. Form the image. Parents, keep in mind that each time the students can have the directions read to themselves to develop independence. These will continue to get a little bit harder throughout the lesson. As you can see now, there are three pieces to the puzzle to assemble. Learning to drag and drop is the first skill in creating coders. Hmm, if they do not get the order correct, it does not give them a congratulations bubble. So they will try again. Hmm. Let's see. Nope, still not right. You can also start completely over by clicking the start over button. Let's try one more time. Ah, congratulations. You completed puzzle five, the fish. Let's go to bubble six. Oh, this is a dog. Oh, but the pieces are not in order. Good job, congratulations. You are on level seven. Ooh, this one is difficult. Hmm. That doesn't look like the tree. Let's try again. Oh, this looks like a tree. Good job. Puzzle seven. Students, you will continue until level 12 when you are finished. You will get a message from code.org that says your lesson is complete. There are no challenge lessons on this level. So, you were finished with your computer class for the day. If you finish early, you may go on to lesson three if you would like. You do not need to complete all the lessons today, but you are welcome to keep going if you are having fun. All right, guys, happy coding. Goodbye.